going, everybody? It's great to be alive. So I saw a post this morning that I felt was very synchronistic towards the journey that I'm on. That specific stuff inside the, the shadow <coughs> confronts itself on the outside on a continuum basis. So one of the things was, was self-love and loving yourself entirely. Not realizing that how can you, if everyone is a metaphysical reflection of who you are, then what does that say about all the people that you reject and why? And the Christ consciousness, right? Yeshua says, what e how easy is it to be around people that love you and are friends with you? How hard is it to be around people that you don't like? Well, to love everyone is to see them inside yourself before you come up with the judgment and cast that stone on someone. I'm sure anybody who's been following these videos knows that. So, with that being said, everything that we've denied about other people is parts that we have denied about ourselves. So, how can you fully love yourself and accept yourself if all the reasons why you wouldn't unconditionally love somebody and why you wouldn't accept them in their life and why they weren't worth your time or your energy is all the literal specific spots inside yourself that you were rejecting. So that's pretty intense. So <coughs> that got me thinking. You ever uh, not want to do something or not want to be around somebody because you feel it will affect your image of who you are? Well, if you're made in the image of God, is God made in your image? Well, sometimes it's good to break your own humility, to break your own standards and virtues, to see past them, to see someone that's not just in self-defeat mode, but doesn't love themselves. Because if we don't love ourselves, then it would be no wonder and no... It, it, it would explain why people are drug addicts and why they tend to... To, to go further down a rabbit hole of a self-demising fate. Because if I didn't love myself, then and I don't accept myself, then those are areas in life where others will not accept me, if that makes sense. I've had to go into the shadow, for example, and levels of where I had been cheated on, let's say. Or I walked in on someone doing something and they were intoxicated when they were doing it. And when I walked in, I immediately placed the logic of what I saw to feeling. At first, I'm like, oh, what do we got here? And a part of me was kind of like, well, jump in and join the show. But instantaneously, my judgment became this is wrong. Now, <clears throat> why it became wrong is because it was hurting my feelings. I felt like there was a sense of a lack of loyalty to me. And all these feelings started to awry with the words that were plaguing in my brain. Thus created now those feelings to become her feelings. If I had never felt anything at all and it was never wrong, would it be wrong? Because in their actions, they weren't thinking about anything. Just the actions themselves, right? So is that the innocence? Living without thinking and just kind of embracing the experience rather than consistently always thinking and then creating barriers and limits and judgment towards it that then catalogs it in your brain as a bad memory, a, bl a bad feeling, a bad everything. When in reality, it was just living. And you were the one who felt it was bad in your own metaphysical universe. So you forgive yourself for feeling those things and the way that they looked at it. They were just living their life in the very moment of the now. And how you looked at it is how you were living in your perception and who you are. It's not how everybody else should be living their life. It's to understand both sides and grounds of it. 
That's where, and some people don't want to do that. Well, those are areas of yourself you're in denial of, that you're suppressing, and you're choosing to create. It's it's going to create a natural friction within. So what I do is I accept it. I love it. I nurture it. I understand it. And now I want to live some more. <laughs> so, if it hurts your image, are you made in the image of God or is God made in the image of you? And so God is everything. God is all things. So, and the level of being all things, it's being the experience here in the full entirety of it all. So that's emotionally. Now, thoughts can destroy a heart, but a heart can heal a mind. And it's to align the intuition with the heart, your stomach and your heart together, and then with your throat chakra and your mind. I realize I don't belong to anybody. I have a relationship with myself, and that's the only one that matters. That's the only one that matters. And it goes the same for you. All right. I love you guys. If you found this video to be enlightening, hit the thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of the alchemical transmutation process of alchemical reality. I'm Hosea Amadeus. I am.